Hey everybody, Maction here, and sometimes you really want an awesome picture for the background on your phone. Other times, you want to be the one who took that awesome picture. But let's face it, even the best camera phones can't do the same job as a dedicated camera. Not least of the reasons because they just don't have the optics for it. Well, in a fantastic effort, Carson Optical did try their best to bridge some of that gap by helping you augment your phone's camera with almost any device with an eyepiece. I mostly tried this out on telescopes, but it will work with microscopes, binoculars, and yeah, anything else with an eyepiece. So it is the Carson Optical Universal Smartphone Optics Adapter. The model number is IS100, but it is being referred to online as hookups. Carson Optical has already provided a lot of video tips and instructions on how to operate this adapter. As a matter of fact, the web address to the videos is wrapped around the adapter on a piece of paper. Since Carson already did most of the legwork, I won't go into the how of it very much, but suffice it to say that you size the adapter to fit your phone. They do recommend first vertically and then horizontally sizing it. And between the rubberized backing and the clamps, it holds the phone in very securely. I had absolutely no worries whatsoever about the phone falling out of the adapter. It was very well held in. Now once I had the phone properly situated in the adapter, the adapter clamped onto the scope, and by design centers itself just fine to be in line with the optics. It will of course permit larger eyepieces and smaller eyepieces to a certain extent. I should note that the adapter does have some issues clipping onto an eyepiece like the one you see here. Because of the decreased surface area, that black ridge around the top was keeping the full length of the green pads from stabilizing the setup. However, that just meant that it tended to rotate downwards towards portrait mode and away from landscape mode and the grippers did a great job of keeping it on the eyepiece, if it did have a little bit of issue on this one sliding around. You know, not the best in my opinion, but still, no danger of falling off. On some of the others that I used, however, that didn't have the exact same ridge there, did just fine. Also, I should mention that the green pads on the adapter are silicone rubber and glow in the dark. That's right, any of the green bits they will glow in the dark. It's a nice touch indeed. The adapter is built to accommodate many sizes of phone and worked just great for almost every phone that I tried. Now sadly, sometimes special circumstances can't be accounted for in the design itself, so you may notice that I added a little something just there, just a small shim to keep it from pressing my power button. Once you've got your phone situated, you do have to do a small amount of fussing to get your phone's camera to play nice with the optics before you take your photos. And that's what makes this impractical for having one adapter serve many people in a short amount of time. It has a reasonable turnover time for devices, probably should only take you 30 to 60 seconds of fiddling before it's good to go, but it still takes some time. Now that being said, I think you will have a lot of fun with it. So I have some photos of the moon, and some of them turned out better than others. And because of some encroaching clouds, sadly I wasn't able to get too many. But I have some photos of the moon here from a nice-sized schmidt cassegrain and a slightly smaller reflector telescope. Now depending upon the optics, you may need to make use of an additional spacer, so keep that in mind if your photos aren't turning out quite the way you expected. While it does require a touch of tinkering to get just right, I found this as a great alternative to the approximately, oh what, $200 USB microscope that would give me the same resolution, but it still wouldn't give me the same zooming power that I could get from the opticals. To say nothing of what I'd have to be paying for the telescope with this built-in features. And that is the benefit to this. Not only in cool wallpapers that you took yourself, but also in the lack of extra, often larger pieces of specialty gear. This is fairly compact, it's light, and it's solidly built overall, and a good purchase for around the neighborhood of $70. Many thanks to Carson Optical for sending a sample my way. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and if you have, a comment or a like would be most appreciated. 
It's your feedback that lets me know how to best allocate my time to the things that you guys want to see. If you click on any of the links around here, you'll be taken to a playlist with more of that particular brand of madness. And be sure to subscribe so that you always know when I've got some new content out. Thanks again, and I'll see you around.